So when you're set up on the Wi-Fi, then you'll have two options come up where you're going to set it up for yourself, for personal use or for a child. So you'll see that we've got it selected for you. So then we're just going to go next. This is where you're going to have to enter your Google email address. So if you haven't already got a Google email address, um, you might want to consider creating one prior to actually setting this up. So I'm just going to enter an email address that I have. Just double checking it and then I'm going to go next. Then we're going to enter the password for the email account. And then we're going to go next. The little circle spinning means it's doing its thing. This is where it's asking you to review the terms and conditions. Um, so if you've got a minute, take a moment to have a look at all of them. But personally, I'm just going to click accept and continue. And this is where it's asking you now about um, your saved preferences and your activities. Again, you can just accept and continue at this stage. You don't need to do anything with that. Now, in order to have your device safe and secure, because at some point it will be collecting and using um, apps that relate to your personal data, it's important that we put a passcode on it in order to prevent people from getting access to any of our personal data. Now, it will ask you to enter a six digit code. Try not to make it to be anything personal, so no dates of births, nothing relating to any memorable dates, and try not to make it consecutive numbers. So you want to randomly add some numbers. So I'm just going to go... OK, it's going to ask you to do the same again, and this is just to make sure that you've typed it in correctly. So... And then as long as those two PIN codes match, it will then tell us that our PIN code has been added. It would be recommended to change your PIN code every three months as well, just for that added little bit of security. When your PIN code's been added, I'm simply going to choose done. This is where it's going to su um, suggest installing um, a variety of different apps on your device. At this point, you can cancel this stage, stage, you can skip this stage, you don't need to do any of that. This is asking us now to turn on um, the Google Assist. So at this point, again, I'm just going to say, no, it's not needed, so no thank you. And this is suggesting how we can personalise our display theme so you can have it on automatic, the dark or the light, depending on um, your accessibility needs for your vision. So I'm just going to leave it on the auto and go next. And now it says we're all set. So now we can get started. So I'm just going to close that window right now because we don't need anything on there. And this is the desktop area that you'll see when you first set your Chromebook up for the first time to use it.